we've got a few questions about staining recently because a lot of you are doing some furniture makeover projects or building that bench that I showed you how to build out of um, lumber. So some of the questions were like, my stain looks blotchy or my stain looks too thick and like painted on, like I didn't want it to be that dark. Um, what am I doing wrong with my stain? Are there any tips? So my best tip is to use a wood conditioner. So this basically is really, really good for softwoods like pine, which if you're using framing lumber, it's usually pine. Um, and it's actually gonna soak into the wood before you stain and help fill some of those holes so that um, your stain goes on a little smoother. You can kind of see on the jar like what we're trying to prevent, that like blotchiness that happens with stain. So what this is gonna do also, in addition to fixing the blotchiness, is it'll make your stain a little lighter because your wood won't absorb as much of the stain, especially on the ends. Like if you've ever put stain on the ends of a piece of pine, it just like slurps it up because that's like the straws of the wood, like what the tree used to soak up water. So that will help a lot. And um, you wanna basically just brush it on for, and then let it dry for like five to 10 minutes. And then you kind of wipe off the excess. And then I just wait like a little bit and start staining, but you can also like wait overnight if you want it to be really dry before you start your stain. But yeah, this is my best, the best kept secret of staining, I think. And if you've stained your bench that you made, like that lumber bench out of raw lumber, and it looks blotchy and it looks uneven and you're unhappy with it, you can actually just sand it off, just sand the stain and then apply some wood conditioner and then stain it and that will help it